Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Stellaris, the Stellar Republic campaign. In Republic news, the government's effort to ramp up construction of planetary infrastructure as well as space stations throughout the Republic have begun to bear fruit as the economy is improving with the influx of new energy sources as well as raw materials. On the Senate floor, there was a debate over the short-term direction over our reconstruction efforts as some felt that it would be better served for us to build a interstellar media system for the education and entertainment of our citizenry instead of clearing glaciers. As there was no consensus during the debate, President Aristeros has issued a statement that due to the considerable public and private investment in the Glacier Project, it will continue as planned. Also, in science news, a significant discovery was made in the Laraus system, where a ancient space capable civilization was discovered that predates human spacefaring civilization by several hundred thousand standard years. The fact that this civilization consisted of sentient AI that attempted to eradicate all life in the galaxy has only sparked the public's imagination. So that ends the news. All right, so let's go ahead and get back into it. And actually, I need to make one other uh, um, adjustment here from some things we talked about uh, last episode. Um, had a conversation uh, with uh, guys on the lore and RP discord and what they wanted to say is that uh, How I wanted to handle this is that earth wasn't necessarily abandoned for any period of time. It had it had instead um, Changed hands a lot being conquered and liberated several times over the period of chaos um, that we are hopefully going to be ending over the course of this series and that Finally, the Republic has managed to retake the system and hold it for a significant amount of time. However, the planet has been significantly damaged and large sections are currently uninhabited, which is why we have all of these tile blockers we need to remove um, as we continue to rebuild and recover our civilization. So I just wanted to make that a little bit more clear. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. Pause it, get it going. Research concluded. Talented official uncovered. Felusi Tifathuis Tifathuis a local official right, from one of our colonies, has impressed visiting human officials with her leadership ability and good governance record. They have put her name forward to be given higher responsibilities within the Stellar Republic's governance structure. However, she is beloved by the colony's population who would be sad to see her go. Alright, we get a level 2 governor with the traits talented intellectual added to the leader pool. We lose a bunch of energy credits. Or she is more of more use on the colony. This capable modifier added for 10 years. No, 360 months. That's not... That's... 30 years. With minus 10% building cost and plus 10% building uh, citizen happiness. You know, we really don't necessarily need a governor at the moment. And we don't have any sectors or anything like that that we need governors for. So um, leave her on the colony to manage it. To give us those bonuses. Now, speaking of the colonies. Um, I have not gone ahead and renamed these yet. Um, there have been some suggestions of what we could do with the names. But as of yet, there hasn't been you know, any you know, solid agreement on what we should name the colonies yet. Um... We have suggestions to name the Alpha Centauri Colony Pythrex, I believe. 
and possibly naming the Sirius colony like Terra Nova or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and hold off on renaming those colonies just yet. Give a little bit more time for people to discuss and offer suggestions and for, you know, to see what comes of that. So just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> All right, so we have researched Ceramo Metal Materials, which gives us light armor battalions and new armor for our ships. All right. Building, building, building build speed, plus 25%. Standardized Corvette patterns. Geothermal fracking. Geode Mining Network, Manufacturing Complex, Mining Complex, Mineral Storage Capacity. Um, I'd love to get the building build speed, but I think we're going to go with the geothermal fracking. It's only going to take 13 months. Alien writing. All right, someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Procyon 4A. The massive script covers a large portion of the moon's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Fascinating. And a significant misappropriation of Republic resources. Um... But it's 5,000 years ago, so we can't prosecute whoever did it. Um, anomaly. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. In the Aminia system, another precursor civilization. Go ahead and research it. 720 days. That's a long time, but it's all right. Special project concluded. All right. Hidden worlds. Cracking the encoding algorithms on the Vectar Zavonia's navigational drive. There's no small feet. Okay, this is the ship we found um, basically empty where they were fleeing some sort of enemy. Uh, but thanks to head researcher Gustophila Sinosia, who seems to have developed an unusual obsession with finding the Mardak Vol's utopian world, we have finally succeeded. More worryingly, Discovery has somehow leaked to the public who now share Gustophila Sinosia's fixation with settling a paradise planet um now has the maniacal trait begins the vector zavonia event chain um abort this is a fool's errand you know what let's go with it situation log updated all right let's see what that's all about Massive generation ship belonging to long dead race of aliens may hold the encrypted location of utopian planet. Alright, we have a potential location in this star system right here, but we don't have a hyperlane that gets there just yet. I think we're going to have to head out here. Alright. Cybrex Research Station. Oh, this is the Cybrex. A single badly scorched module is all that's left of a Cybrex research station that once orbited Araos 5 hundreds of thousands of years ago. The vacuum exposed inside of the module is filled with the dead remains of creatures that are part machine and part organic. Oh, so they were cyborgs. Alright, we have completed our energy grid, global energy management research. Um... Research alternatives plus one. Better blaster cannons. Ah, uh, improved deflectors. You know, let's go with the research alternatives. That's going to provide a larger benefit over a longer time. And right now we don't have any external threats we need to worry about at the moment. All right, next tradition, data bank uplinks. Allows science ships to assist research with colonies increasing planetary research production by an amount determined by the skill of the commanding scientist or polytechnic education. Leader experience gain increased by 25%. You know what, we're gonna go with that one. Tile blocker cleared. 
Construction project concluded. Orbital research and mandate fulfilled. President Kisaria as Aristeros' mandate. Additional research stations have been constructed. There we go. All right. The Alpha Centauri system. And what are you building? Mining stations. All right. Build some research stations there. All right. We have an idle science ship. Hmm. There isn't a timer on that, is there? No, there is not. Okay, so what you're going to do is we're going to actually have you survey systems on this path. Head there. Tile blocker cleared. All right, clearing some tile blockers. And we now have some energy sources. Um you are going to build mining. Isotope refinery, isotope refinery. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to build a energy grid here. And here, oh, do we go for the research or do we go for the minerals? Holonet server plus 20? Ooh, I don't want to do that. Um, stronghold, Xeno assembly. Produces two influence. Produces a unity point. Um, diplomatic center bunkers. I think we go for the mining complex right now. And for this, we're going to build a... Do I have those biofuel things yet? Farming complex, economic district, biofuel refinery. Yeah, let's build that there. All right. We got our geothermal fracking. And... Better afterburners, improved Corvette hulls. Mineral processing plant. Unlock Starbase Nebula Refinery. Yeah, we're going to go with the improved Corvette hulls. Just to reinforce Research our Corvettes. Concluded. And there's our... Removal. Of... Tile blockers. Deep crust engineering to remove active volcanoes and geothermal activity. Genome mapping for growth speed. Interstellar Fleet Traditions for Fleet Academy and Naval Logistics Office. Food Packing Plant. Starbase Capacity. Almost building Food Packing Plant for a food plus 10%. You know what? I think we're going to go with Genome Mapping. For improved pop growth speed. Make our citizens healthier. Alright, scientist Cassio Filicinosa aboard the vessel URSF Olanthepios has made a substantial discovery on this unpronounceable planet. Um, somehow, life completely, composed entirely of plasma has managed to evolve on this star. Oh, this is the name of the star. Um, unfortunately, the ship cannot venture closer for a better scan as the sun's thermal radiation is proving too much for the ship's onboard sensors. Unbelievable. Alright. 
Plasma-based stellar life forms. Um, study M-class star. Yeah, go ahead and do that research project. Um, I think that was from a David Brin novel, Sundiver, I think it was called. Uh, let's see. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization was in hospitable rock. Okay, so more precursor activity. Go ahead and research it. Let's see if it's these Cybrex guys again. Right, we're four years in, so it's still a while before I can add a new civic. Oh, we're maxed out on energy. I don't think there's anything I can really do about that. Construction project concluded. Oh, it's a black hole. Construction project concluded. Research concluded. Alright, what do we got? Research alternatives plus one. Um, we are going to take... Automated exploration protocols for increased survey speed. Sounds good. Alright. Procyon system. We're going to go ahead and we're going to build a outpost in the Larao system. And we're going to build an outpost in the Procyon system. Or not. Research concluded. Battle debris. A colossal space battle occurred in the high orbit of Unpronounceable 2. Some 600,000 years ago, sounds about right for Cybrex, with ships from at least five different fleets participating. One of the fleets belonged to the Cybrex. Hey. Although the vast majority of orbital debris seems to come from the other participants. So yeah, it looks like they didn't come out on the Situation log right yet. side of that one. Oh, new research. Got our genome mapping. Uh, ocean ecology management. Heritage sites. Unlock this building heritage site. Imperial Guard. Well, we're not Imperial. Alright, we'll go to the heritage site. Eight months, no big deal. Organic remains. The ancient frozen remains of almost a thousand aliens have been found in the vicinity of Aminia 1. The government of over a dozen different species and preliminary dating puts the corpses at roughly 600,000 years old. Around the same time as the Cybrex machine consciousness ravaged this part of the galaxy. Situation Interesting. Log updated. Wow, we need a lot there to build an outpost. Special project concluded. M class star study. This type of star is old, and the fusion process and score have slowed down. This allowed us to fly up much closer and study the fusion in greater detail. Nice. Alright, we need to study this black hole. Alright. Our Jamiran civilization encountered. We have detected the presence of a pre-space civilization on Koriko's Haunt in the Unpronounceable System. I mean, I guess I could try and pronounce this. A Wow Goost Denold System. Okay. They are an early industrial age with electricity and internal combustion engines gradually becoming into widespread use. Uh, we should consider building an observation post about their world to study them more closely. Interesting. Research we'll think about concluded. doing that. Alright, what's this? Faith in science. Gains unity equal to three months pro production whenever new technology is researched. Yes, please. Alright, we got the survey speed plus 25% and we can do automatic exploration, which we're not going to do just yet. 
energy exportation. Monthly energy plus five. Unlocks corrosine plant. Intensive processing a high energy but highly polluting corrosine gas can later be upgraded to an even more powerful version. Produces six energy and one, what is this? Physics science. And it just gives us five monthly energy straight out of the game. Anomaly discovery chance. You know, let's take that. Since it's a rare research, let's grab it. Contact report primitives. The report on the primitive civilization observed by our fleets is received with something as close to exultant jubilation as the academic elite of the Stellar Republic will allow themselves to express. Here, finally, is proof. Um. Okay, this is about, you know, being the first aliens you encounter, which doesn't really apply to us. Interesting. Research concluded. Alright, scientists is leveled up. We got the improved Corvette hulls. Uh, let's go ahead and take that building build speed. Construction project concluded. Alright, we need to upgrade our mines. System survey concluded without incident. Good. System survey concluded. Let's go ahead and keep moving on. Survey system. What I'm probably going to do is go ahead and move. Anomaly found. My construction ship over there. All right, impressive structures litter a small area on the surface of Aminia 2A, practically begging for some archaeological work. Yeah, go ahead and research that. Research concluded. All right, we got heritage sites. Let's see, starbase capacity plus two. We really don't need that yet. Terrestrial sculpting. Allows terraforming. Again, I think that's a little bit beyond what we're actually going to want to do. Colonial law. Off-world trading company and supply hub. Space trading. Colonial centralization. I guess we'll go for the space trading. Construction project concluded. Habitable world survey. All right, so this one is the survey habitable worlds. Yeah, go ahead and log updated. Do that because we're going to be doing that anyway. All right, build the mining stations, and you can build the research stations. Special project concluded. Compact star studied. This star is a sad reminder that all things in the universe are finite. One's a shining star. At the end of its lifespan, it collapsed into itself. While studying this exotic, exotic celestial body, our science officer, Nesithe Therofe, found a new fascination in particle research. Good. You are over there surveying. So I guess you will come over here and survey system and then do the research projects in that system. All right, we have now encountered intelligent life capable of space flight. In sharp contrast to primitives previously observed by the Stellar Republic, we have yet to get a good look at the beings piloting the crafts through the dark with purpose unknown. Intriguing. Enigmatic spacefarers. Alright, the president has leveled up. Construction project concluded. Abandoned amusement park. 
The structures on Aminia 2A are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science Officer Decesis Clef Clefixia notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from and that to the builder's alien eyes this might have been a cutting-edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless, to us humans, it looks mostly like a place where we would take your young and let them amuse themselves. Intriguing. Alright, anything we want to do? You know, we can't really upgrade. Requires star hold completed. technology. Alright, building speed. Advanced Corvette hulls. Corvette hull points plus another 100. Go for Plasteel Armor, Geode Mining Network. Geode Deposit Mining. Or Research Consortium, which gives us even more research alternatives. You know what? Let's get even more research alternatives. Construction project concluded. All right. Impressive structure. Litter Lothandra to a surface. Practically begging. Okay, some more archaeological work. Research concluded. All right. We got our energy exploitation. All right. What do we have here? Colony development speed plus 50%. I haven't really tried to establish any colonies yet. Hyperdrive 2. Which gives us new hyperdrives for our ships. Improve reactor booster. And planetary FTL inhibitors. Basic combat rolls. Or improved energy. Field modulation. I think we'll go with that. Better planetary improvements. Ah, here we go. We're going to go for the interstellar television to uh, unlock TV stations. Seven months. Oh, and, you know, we probably should queue up those glacial removers just because. System survey concluded. We don't really need any food so I think for the time being we're gonna build the biofuel refinery and here so we just go with the society lab uh, we're not gonna go for the Corazine plant not here anyway manufacturing complex uh, stronghold increases. Protects armies from orbital bombardment. Planetary modifier unrest minus 30. Gives us a unity point. Diplomatic modifier. Empire unique produces 0.25 influence. Influence storage capacity plus 100. You know what? We should probably build that on Earth. Energy grid. Should probably build that here. Heritage site. Let's go for that. Construction project concluded. All right, we're done surveying there. Let's go ahead and survey here. All right, Lothandra 2A is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines definitely chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional. Surely. Image them for the archives. System survey concluded. Construction project concluded. 
All right, system survey concluded. We're gonna continue along this path to head here, which is supposedly the Utopia system. Strange ships have landed on, oh, slave hunters. And Alpha Centauri. Research concluded. Can I fight them? Alien vessels, unidentified empire. Huh. Uh, Alright, well we got this. Uh, blaster cannons, cold fusion reactors, anomaly discovery chance. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and get those better guns. Better weapons. And let's get the last of our data bank uplinks, our last of our discovery. Um, traditions? Research concluded. Wow, really? Oh, because every time we get a research, it gives us a whole bunch of unity. Right. Um, what do we want? Star Dominion. Starbase influence cost, claim influence cost, technological ascendancy, research speed plus 10%. That's what I would think we should probably go for. One vision. Governing ethics of trash and plus 50% unity output. Mastery of Nature gives us the ability to clear blockers a lot faster. That's kind of meh. Imperial Prerogative increases our core sector systems plus five. Not really sure about that. Executive Vigor of Edict Duration plus 50%. I don't really use Edicts that much. Transcendent Learning. Leader Level Caps, Empire League Capacity plus two. Um, shared destiny. Subject integration influence cost minus 75%. That might make sense for our our uh, our civilization here, but I'm not sure we want it as the first ascension perk we get. Um, honorable ambassador, xenophile only, trust cap. Trade attractiveness, diplomatic influence cost, uh, galactic bill of rights. Uh, ancient freedoms voiced long ago and set in stone must become second nature to all those we encounter among the stars. Pop growth, happiness, edict cost increased. Bureaucratic perfection. Government perk, edict duration increased by 100% plus an additional 20% for each government perk unlocked. Motion of excellence. Leader pool size. Um, Empire leader capacity increased by 10 and an additional two for each government perk. Ascendancy of the state gives us an additional civic slot. Um, monthly influence is increased by 0.5 plus an additional 0.3 for each government perk unlocked. Influence cap is increased by 500 for each governing government perk unlocked. Factionalism. Faction influence gain. Don't really have any factions yet. Government perk. The happiness of all factions increased by plus 1% for each government perk. Um, and another imperial prerogative. We got two of those? This is a different imperial prerogative. This is a government perk. Core system capacity by 3 plus additional 1 for each government perk. Um... The Art of War, Weapon Damage, Ship Hull Points, Settle the Galaxy, Extra Pass on Establishing Colony, Colony Development Speed plus 50%, Generate an additional colony ship whenever a colony ship is built. Now that's weird. Um, adaptability. There are many biomes in the galaxy as our planets. Rather than adapting each one to them, we have learned to adapt our society to local surroundings. An additional 20% habitability increase. So, there's a bunch of these things, but I think 
They're locked, and I don't know what they do. They're from a mod. All right, well, one other thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and leave the decision of what Ascension perk uh, we are going to take for our first Ascension perk um, up to you guys. So let me know, and then we'll go ahead and pick that up next episode. Because we're going to go ahead, we're going to have to end here because we're out of time. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.